There's a couple good ones. Yeah, those are gonna be money. Oh, right up where we want them. That one should be better. Oh, right on top of them. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, <laughs> sweet bite. Oh, it's a good fish too, I think. Oh yeah. You could just tell that one was suspended a little more. Just what you want to see. <laughs> Such a sweet bite on these paddle tails. There we go on that big paddle tail. Similar to what we were doing yesterday, we were fishing suspended fish. With these big paddle tails, we had a ton of wind. So today we're fishing a little more structure. Oh, a ton of these big fish right here. Grant's hooked up. This one's a 27 incher, 27 incher. Grant's hooked up. I'm gonna go net his. Oh yeah, another solid fish. I mean, it's only a 23. <laughs> 27, back to back with a 23. We have had an unreal bite so far this morning. You've only saw those first two. I think we had almost 12 walleyes with probably 10 of them over 25 inches in about an hour here. And we got part way into it and I'm just like, Grant, why am I not recording yet? So threw on the cameras, just went back to back here. Hopefully we will keep getting a few more of these. Yesterday we were fishing suspended walleyes. Um, today's a little different. Today we're actually fishing a little shallower structure. We had a ton of wind yesterday and actually it was wind from the north. So we're kind of fishing the opposite of what today's wind is. And a lot of times you're thinking, okay, it's wind from the south. So we're gonna be fishing all those south facing points. but there was a strong wind yesterday, so it's been blowing up into these um, all day and even through the night. So these fish are still pushed up because of that wind. And that's one of the common misconceptions. A lot of times people will fish today's wind, but especially right away in the morning, fishing the wind from yesterday is crucial because that's where all that bait pushed up. That's where all those fish pushed up. So we're gonna keep fishing. These fish are still kind of suspended. Um, those are the ones we're targeting. We're targeting ones that are you know, up off bottom, five, 10 feet maybe. Uh, we might only be in 10 to 12 feet of water because we're fishing some of this structure. But again, those fish were both suspended. And when we see those fish, you can tell like they are aggressive, they are feeding. And yeah, you can, have a pretty darn good catch rate. Today, I would say 90% of the fish we've targeted have bit. So yeah, that's what we got going on today. We're gonna work some more of this kind of shallow structure and see if we can find some more of these active walleyes. Ooh, there's still one high one over here. See, it's a little more suspended. Keep it up over top of it here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep, let's go. Oh, you can just tell that one was ready to bite. It uh, was up a little higher. Oh, sweet. It was up a little higher. Oh, good fish. Oh, like I said, you can just tell when those fish are ready to eat. And you can see because they eat just like that when they're suspended up there. And I'm not even saying suspended, like suspended over deep water like we were talking yesterday. I'm saying suspended, like you could see that one was about three, four feet up off bottom. It's probably 15, 16 feet up top there. Um, and that fish was just hanging out. <laughs> Man, just tons of these awesome, thick, mid-20s and higher inch walleyes, 24 and a half inches, oh, and they're just thick. It's been just an awesome trip up here so far. Yesterday we didn't even film, we had, I think, 28 walleyes over 20 inches, and we're already at, I don't know, 15 today, and I can still see a couple more up there. So I'm actually gonna recast right away here. God, I don't know where I am, but I imagine I'm pulling through those fish. Shoot, a little too. Yep, there we go. Ooh, yeah, it's a big walleye or it might be a pike. Whatever it is, it's big. Staying down okay though. Oh, he's getting squirrely. I think it's a big walleye. That's a big walleye. Oh, he's dogging me. You bet, oh. you bet. We're in like 13 feet right here. You can see those fish just kind of scattered over that flat. And those ones were just, it's like rocks. And then it gets to that sand. Oh, this guy was dogging me. Just a super fun bite. Oh, again, just chomped that swim bait. Oh, 27 incher, just a goldie. Oh, I love these dark fish. They are so cool. Another fun, fish show them off right back here quick and there she goes 
So I talked that we were fishing shallow structure and kind of one of the things that I want to point out is the more stuff there is, so there's an island over here and there's this big conglomeration of shallow stuff. Some of it's, you know, five feet, some of it's 20 feet. And there's a bunch of different humps and points and stuff sticking off of this thing. And we're just really cruising around going to so many of these covering some water and there's been fish pretty much scattered all over these like I said we had that strong north wind just blowing into her all day yesterday and that is just creating kind of like a feeding frenzy of these fish up here the bait up here all of that so shallow structure in the fall when the bait can be pushed up by this wind is just an awesome pattern god I should be somewhere in that ballpark sometimes you might there I see those fish moving yep there we go I didn't even see that bait, but I saw that fish moving. Another good fish. That's the thing, when you're doing the shallow pattern with these big swim baits, a lot of these fish are your quality fish. I mean, we've seen some pods of fish too that have been a little bit more fish, but they have not been quite as big. So we've kind of passed over those, there he is. Another quality fish. Jeez, this guy's feisty. They're so feisty in this shallow water. There we go. Another probably 23, 24. This shallow bite is so fun. We go from yesterday um, finding those suspended fish. Didn't even film yesterday a lot, but I think for the trip here, we're pretty close to, I mean, we're over 70 fish over 20 inches and a lot of those in kind of that mid 20 inch range or even higher. Grant had a 29 and a 28 and a half yesterday, but that wasn't on film. Just a bunch of awesome fish. And yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna have a tough time going home. Ooh. That's a big fish. Yeah, about 30 feet this way. <laughs> that didn't take long. I wonder if that's a pike. It smoked it. Even everything was recording. Nope, it's a big walleye. Let's go. That thing smoked it. Another great fish on that swim bait. That one's long, not as fat, but 28. That tail just kind of keeps on going there. That thing was out a little bit deeper here. Thing was out a little bit deep. We were actually going from one shallow reef to another shallow reef. And sure enough, we see this one down about 25, 26 feet suspended up off bottom, just a little bit. Um, and <laughs> I thought that was a pike the way it bit. Just rolled that swim bait over it and that thing just smoked it. That was a fun bite. This one's high. He's engaging. Oh yeah. Come on, come on. Get a little faster. Yep. Let's go. Oh, I didn't see it. Good walleye. Another <laughs> big walleye. This one was suspended. You can see that thing. And once that thing started going a little faster, you just speed up that cadence and that can trigger these fish to bite. 26 inch beauty right there. This one's got a little more gold to it. Again, still making our way towards that other shallow area. I mean, we're one hump there, one hump over here, or I guess more of a point, but we're just kind of cruising. There's these deep flats that we were catching them yesterday. So we said, hey, as we go in between these, um, one of the things I've noticed is that winds died down a little bit, a little bit later in the day. And so I think what's going on, wind switched directions last night. So there's not as much stuff blowing up. Those fish were still up there from last night. It was in their feeding window. And we were able to get, like I said, 15. I don't know how many we actually caught on camera, just a few, um, but we got a bunch this morning. And now a couple here kind of roaming deep. So that's another thing is, yes, we're targeting those shallow fish, but always be ready to see these fish when they're suspended like that. We've seen that so much this trip, these fish suspended, especially over these deep flats, um, anywhere there's somewhere around structure, but it's in that, you know, even 25 to 45 feet, if there's these deep flats, there's gonna be fish kind of cruising around those all the time. So keep your live scope down. If it's not too far, kind of uh, venture on over there, because there we had a 28 and 26 back-to-back uh, -back cast pretty much. So we're gonna keep rolling towards that uh, hump over there, that little point over there, and we'll see if we get any more suspended here. Oh, he swung and missed. That's a big pike. I guarantee it. That is a 40 plus inch pike. I would bet significant money on it. Oh, my heart is beating. That is a large fish. Oh, he bit. He bit, but he didn't stick it. I'm just gonna try to keep ripping it around like that. He's 
kind of liking it. See if he'll pick it up off the bottom. He picked it up. He picked it up. Let's go. I had to set it on bottom. Maybe it's not as big as I'm thinking, but oh my gosh, that mark looks giant. Big old gator. Look at his head coming this way. Got to be a 40, huh? It's going to be close. <laughs> you bet. Took forever. Finally got thing. Was just sitting on bottom and got him to go. Oh! No! 39! Oh! You bet. I need to back up for this guy. 39 inch pike. I bet a lot of money though it is a 40, but just long. Just unreal. This lake is so fun. I keep saying that. The quality of these fish are amazing. Uh, such beautiful scenery. It's just a really, really cool place. Can't wait to get back, and I'm not even left yet. Let's cast it this first one. 70, I think. That's going to be right at him. Oh, yeah. Come on. Where is he? Yep, 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 yep. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, he just started coming up for it. Oh. Good fish. Good fish. Just cruising around this flat with this bait here. Still working our way towards that island. You bet. Oh, just a solid fish. All these ones are so plump. We got 24 and a half. Not big for what we've been catching. I mean, on a normal day, I would just be pumped. Uh, but on this lake, it's just crazy how these 24s, 25s, I mean, yesterday we weren't even taking pictures unless they were 27 or above by the end of the day. And you know those are good days when that happens because there's so many days where I would be tickled just to catch something over 20 inches. But obviously it's very relative to the body of water that you're on, to the style of fishing that you're doing. And this is definitely a big fish bite and these fish have been aggressive. So one of the things I did want to talk about is a couple tips with the live scope and with how to work these baits. Um, two things. One, you always want to try to cast beyond. You can have ball right on their head and they will still bite, but a lot of times you want to cast beyond. You just want to slowly work that bait. You've seen that a few times here where slowly work that, keep it above them. You don't want them to have to go down for it. They will go down at times, but the best bite that we've had, keep it above them. You know, they can see up a lot easier. So you're just working that. And as they get more aggressive, you start turning the burner on, um, almost like you're fishing lake trout or something like that. And a lot of times that will trigger them to bite. If they don't bite on that, then you do that steady retrieve and just do a couple little snaps. A couple times I've had to do more of a jerk, a little bit more like a jig and wrap, but for the most part, a slow steady retrieve and then speeding it up once they start chasing a little quicker has been the trigger to get these things to bite. Good one. It's a good walleye. Good walleye. Grant pulled up a 23. These things were up. We're kind of off the edge of this hump here. And they were a little more up on top. We had casted those fish a little bit earlier and they weren't going, weren't going. But sure enough, Grant was finally able to get one to go and it was a solid walleye. This kind of shallow bite here that we're working right now is Definitely slowed down a little bit from this morning. You know, that could contribute to a lot of different things. The wind switching, it not being quite as windy today, um, a little bit later in the day, whatever it is. Definitely not seeing as many of these fish up top, but still being able to get a couple to bite here. Yeah, that's the one I'm seeing too. Right away, I thought, oh, that's a big fish. Oh, I think he sees me. Oh, no, he must have been chasing you for a second. Yep, I lost him. Oh, jeez. I thought he was swimming away. But a good one. Another solid one. Off, suspended here. We just, we were just working that hump where Grant lost that big pike. And we start sliding off a little deeper and we saw a couple fish suspended here. I'll get this one off, show her off quick. Oh, 27 incher. All these fish, these suspended fish especially, are so quality. But even this morning, those fish that we were catching up shallow, such nice fish. I mean, when you can target the right ones, you can use a live scope, kind of pick out your fish, and also see those fish that are high like that. That is just an awesome scenario for catching these big active walleyes like this. Oh yeah, there I see that one. 
about 50 feet in front. Is that the one you see? Let's go. There's another one 50 feet in front. Look big, it's a big walleye. That's a big walleye. You bet, let's go. That's a stud. You bet, another big fish suspended. 28 and a half, just an absolute beauty. Nice fish. We'll let that one go here. I'm gonna look for that other one that I saw. There's another good one here. It's a good looking fish though. You got another one? Just show it to the camera here quick. There we go, another 24 and a half caught suspended here. Just caught that 28 and a half, and now he just caught that 24 and a half. And we got another one, ooh, right underneath us here. This thing is big. Yep. Oh, just let that 24 and a half go. Ah, we got fish everywhere. That's a big walleye. This is gonna be close, Grant. Oh, this is gonna be close. Oh, <laughs> another stud. You bet. Oh, 29 and a half. Saw that thing a few different times, casted to it. Just an absolute unit. These fish are so darn fun. We have caught so many big fish today. These last couple have been out here suspended. <laughs> 29 and a half inch beauty caught suspended. Awesome fish. Oh, that's fun. Well, that was a little bit of absolute chaos there for about 20 minutes. In about five of those minutes, we had a 28 and a half. Uh, what was the second one? 24? A 24 and a 29 and a half. That's out here suspended. That hump is off there a little bit. Those are the fish that move up on these humps when it's super windy and sometimes early and late. Now these fish moved off a little bit. Three awesome fish, two absolute studs, um, pretty much back to back. It was kind of pandemonium there for a little bit, but absolutely awesome. There, I should be able to get to them. Oh. Yep. Oh, let's go. <laughs> you bet. 25 and a half, but another solid, big, thick, rainy lake walleye. So real quick, I wanna talk setup. What we've been using today for these bigger swim baits, I have, this one's actually a seven foot medium light, but most of the time I've been using a seven foot medium. That line snapped off and I didn't wanna take time to retie it up. Um, a seven foot medium light, Rosemore Outdoor Gear with a PC1 Carbon X2 2000. That is the big swim bait rod that I've been using um, and reel. I have that with about a 10 pound braid to a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. This one is what I've been using more recently. Um, I can't remember the jig head, but I think it's like a three eighths to a half ounce jig head. With the diesel minnow, my best luck that I've had throughout this whole trip has been a three eighths ounce smeltnator jig, uh, but that one broke off and I didn't have any more. So I tied this one on, which is a very similar head, but there's something about that smeltnator jig head with this diesel minnow that's just been super good at triggering these fish to bite. So that's what we've got going on for the big swim bait setup. When I've been using a jig and wrap, it is a seven foot medium light with the PC Von Carbon X2 2000. Again, and those Carbon X reels. The original Carbon X and the Carbon X2, they are just so smooth. They have such a good drag. They are so nice when you're fighting some of these big fish, you know, when they get close to the boat and they want to take those runs, being able to let that drag peel is just awesome. And this reeling on these is so smooth when you're casting these big baits all day. Having that nice smooth reel is super convenient. So that's the setup we've been using, but we're going to call it as much as I don't want to go, uh, the fish have gotten a little bit less aggressive. Um, we're seeing a few more chase that didn't bite. This has been an awesome trip, something that I look forward to every year. This lake just has a soft spot in my heart because there's so many big fish, you know, 39 inch pike, 29 and a half inch walleye, other upper 20 inch walleyes, had a 40 inch pike get off. It is just an incredible, incredible fishery and one that I'll be thinking about all winter getting back up here next year. So as always, appreciate the support. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.